Oh my gosh, are you all ready for the special finale of Bust Move 4? Because I am so ready. Welcome, everybody. This is Bust Move 4, the finale episode. And in just about a few moments, I lose. Great. So, welcome, everybody. Are you guys stoked for this? I'm certainly excited because this project has been such a huge success in my point of view. I'm so glad. I'm just going to get this right out of the way. I'm really glad and excited that all of you guys really love this project. I felt like there was so much support when it comes to this project. You know, this is, this project, you know, it's not just what... It's really encouraging when you watch a project of yours and you get so many views. Because it shows that you guys are really interested in what I have to show for this. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I know it's sentimental, but... So we are in the last thing. So in the last episode... We were transported into the world, and here we are. This is it. The final stages of the world. And will we do it? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can accomplish this. So the world, as I can see so far, it just has uh, different aspects of puzzles that we've already seen. So, for the last one of the pulley system, you guys know how much I love pulleys, don't you? Yeah, not really. I'm just gonna be like that. It's like, no. I don't appreciate you pull these, and why am I not going from that black one in the first place? So for this one, it's obviously you're uh, climbing up the thing. The world levels, I feel like they really do test your skills, which I have very few. I'm not going to say I have none, because I managed to get to level 107 right now. So that, to me, shows that I know what I'm doing at least, for the most part. Even though a lot- well, that wasn't a great example, but- you know what, it's fine. So, you may be surprised that this episode is coming up earlier than you expected, but that's because I really want to get this project out there for you guys, and I really want to start my new project, You guys, if you guys check out my channel. There's a little trailer episode, it'll probably be gone soon since the new project will be starting eventually, but you'll just have to wait and see what it is. If you watch the trailer, then you already know what it is. Or do you? I don't think so, because the game that I chose in particular in my eyes is a really, really superb uh, DS puzzle game. Uh, it's not so much like a tile puzzle game like the one that I'm doing right now for my channel, which is what I had proposed. But then I realized it's like, that gets really stale really quickly and I really want to do a different direction for my channel. And so, that's my whole decision on why I decided to do this puzzle game in particular that I'm showing off. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoy it. I certainly do. Because it's a very underrated game. It's one of the older games and not a lot of people do this game. And I really want to share it because it's great. You know, I feel like it's witty and charming and all that stuff. I know it has like mixed reviews, but I personally really love this game. So I hope you guys do too. And I'm really hoping that you guys really enjoyed this whole uh, puzzle Mode Story. I know it's been really trying, but I'm really glad that I've managed to get as far as I did to be able to do all these stages. It's unfortunate that you couldn't change up the characters that you're playing with, because that made it really exciting the first few episodes of it when I had the competition with Bub and Cleon. I guess it's just a reflection episode, honestly. But you know what? That's great, because what better thing to do than reflect on your project? Because, you know, I didn't get that much time to spend reflecting on uh, Puyo Pop Fever, I love that game, but it was only like three parts, what could I do, you know? I keep losing, this is, this is stupid. This is stupid. But, regardless, the point I'm trying to make this, this is a great game. And it's still readily available for you guys to purchase if you want to. It's on different various platforms, I know there's one in Dreamcast, Game Boy, Color, uh, this is PlayStation 1 version. There's an arcade version as well, of course. Except I don't know if these are like arcade machines still exist for this. Uh, you have to be really lucky. But the one I recommended the most, obviously, was the PS3 because and the Vita. Also the PS Vita. Since I am playing like this is PlayStation style, so that's basically the reason why I highly recommend it. So if you guys obviously love this, you can pick that up. Of course, it's PC. PC generally everyone has one. <laughs> I mean, how are you gonna watch this? Uh, your phone? Because I don't think YouTube's phone. Well, for me, anyways, let's get into that. YouTube, when watching on your phone, it's just a hassle to me, in my honest opinion, because when you open up the app, sometimes the video is all, like, 
black and fuzzy. I don't know if it's just the phone doing that. I feel like it would be, but honestly, it's just a bit of trouble for me because, like, I just want to watch this stuff. YouTube, what are you doing to me? Android, get your work together. Funny thing enough, the next project I'm doing, you can play on your phone. Yeah, how about that? I don't even know what I was trying to do. I had the cursor thing and everything, and I was just aiming, like, where am I aiming? I don't understand. So you can see this. These stages are very difficult, even with the handicap. So it's like, you you cannot take these lightly, because there's no difficulty setting for these puzzles. It's just like, you got the skill, you don't. And I definitely have 10% of the skill required. Uh, so you know what? It's fine. Doing this project, it really taught me to. Whoa, that's that's close, but. It definitely taught me to really think of my feet when doing this project. Because there was- I just assumed this game was so simple and basic. But no, there's so much complexity to this. And then I, when I check on the modes, it's like, I want to cover them all. But there's so many modes that I'm not going to cover. At least for a while. Maybe it'll be like a season 2 kind of thing. When I get around to that. I'll probably take me about a year for that because I am like worn out of Bust Move right now. Bust Move, it's like- you have a big party and all that stuff, and you just like, ugh, you know more. It's kind of like when you go to the movies, and you get like a big tub of popcorn, it's like, oh my god, so good. But you can't eat popcorn for like another five months, it's like, oh god. Don't ever show me a bucket of popcorn ever again. Don't. Oh man, I don't know what was a bad example, but you see, this took forever. These stages are really long, and 165 seconds is quite a long time, so let's just be real, guys. Oh dear. Looking at this one, I, you can already tell. This is this is actually kind of a good level. Uh, if you're playing, look at that. Check out that sweet action. So essentially, what you have to do is not that. I just screwed myself. The most basic puzzle. So that's why it's so easy. You have like three colors only. You don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, it does not fall off. You just try to aim up as high as you can with that one, so... Think of it that way. Watch the pop in action again. Boom. I'm set up a lot better this time around. Uh, just stick it onto there. There you go! See, the thing is, you do not stick anything onto those metal things, otherwise they won't fall off. So that's an easy one. This is the final puzzle, guys. Are you ready? It mixes everything. All the colors, the whole screen, and also pulleys. So yeah. You guys excited? This is the final puzzle! We get our happy ending soon with Alkanet. Hmm. I feel like I brought that up earlier in this episode. Where I was disappointed that you can't change the characters, which I really, really was, because in the first story mode, it really kept it interesting. Bub vs. Cleon. Cleon was the winner, but I still think Bub won. I just didn't show his ending, because honestly... It's nothing too spectacular. You saved the world. I spoiled it. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, regardless... I died. I've died on pretty much every single stage in this, but that's because you don't get punished. Except your point total. Look at that. It's a sad, sad point total. And to me, that's the thing. Video games back in the day, they're all about points. Now it's just like all about lives. I don't know. It's just like something I, I just find it really funny. There's a Simpsons game. The Simpsons game. Which was like, yeah, that's how we're gonna end it. This is the Simpsons game. It's like, points, then how do you win? You have unlimited lives, what are you doing? You just want to get to the end of the game, that's what. That's generally how people think now. You just have to finish up. Uh, you have lives, sometimes you don't. I think that's what's beautiful about certain games, I guess. Like Kirby's Epic Yarn doesn't have lives, but I really do love the exploration of that game. So to me, that's what I really do enjoy. But that, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like panicking right now. Uh why does that blue have to be, like, so trapped in there? Oh. So this is why this is the last level, because it's difficult. You understand, guys? That's why. So, don't judge me. I'm I'm an okay player. I have nothing spectacular, but whatever. You guys know I'm weird. If you don't, you clearly haven't been paying attention to what I've been saying. <laughs> oh, gosh. But this is it. You guys excited? So, I guess I'll give a rundown of the game. There are 14 characters, which I didn't get to show off. I will do exhibition matches eventually in the future. Not, like, in a year from now, but whenever I feel it's appropriate, when it's, like, I'm going from another project, 
because Pokemon Yellow, if you guys have been keeping up with that project, um, I know it's like a niche project, a lot of people do that project, but definitely check it out. It is my first project, it's still going on, which is a little bit crazy to me. But yeah, so I definitely recommend that project, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I know it'd be hard to catch up now since I had so many breaks, I realize that. So next time I do like a big project, I won't have so many like gaps in between. Because it really does like distract uh, new viewers, it's like you have to watch through the old stuff, sift through it. And it's like, is there really a point? I, I get that. So, I do apologize, I'm gonna lose again. <laughs> so hopefully that won't- yeah, that was like an epic fail. But yeah, this game, it's definitely great. 14 characters, training mode, uh, create your own character, what, no, create your own levels. I've never done that before, so if I do that on screen, it'll be like, blind. It's like, whoa, is this worth showing? I'll definitely have to do that on my own time, to see that. So this world is just like, crazy. So that's a little nifty little trick that comes up a little while. You see how the pulley's not moving? Because the pulley is basically attached something else so there you go that's a cheap way to extend your time with that pulley not let it be a burden to you just do that and you're good Doo -doo. and I really love the music of this game too man just looking at this music oh man that was beautiful did you see that burst of color that was magnificent and I can't believe this pulley is still stuck together that's amazing to me oh my gosh there we go, the pulley is now officially broken. You have the two colors left. I think we're gonna get it, guys. Woo, are you excited? Oh gosh. <clears throat> Cracks. 59 seconds, we did it. There's our final point total after 110 levels. So many points, guys. Am I right? And here we are. We are done. The world, oh, don't look sensory. I'm not gonna censor that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And all the cars disappeared. Never to be seen again. Your love and courage made the time flow properly. Someday, this adventure will be gone from your memory by the self-cleansing action of the time. But I will never forget you. Thank you very much. I will foretell your future and return. Oh my gosh. Yes. We've unlocked a new mode. Tarot card readings. Are you ready, everybody? This will tell you- this is a cute little thing. Oh, this is so worth it. I never got this mode before. You know how exciting this is? Although the dream is essential for love, you are so rational you only care about reality. Your reason prevented you from getting- uh, I didn't go down. You are so nervous that you cannot control your emotion, things you'll care or leave one after another. Weakened mind leads to misfortune. Oh, getting many things. There you go. <laughs> The mean feature. There will be a time to make a decision to build up a good relation between you and him or her. Nothing will seem like a hardship, no need to hesitate. You had been on a point of gaining his or her love. Perhaps you were so enthusiastic that you were love and failure. Ah! Someone helps bring good luck. Every generosity is it. Oh, that's nice. You as you see. You're anxious for the love and lost concentration love. I'm not really about love, but there you go. Outcome. There will be an omen of bright future. You, him, or her were content in platonic love. Oh. <laughs> the flow of time that leads to the future is going to branch off according to your behavior. Please, remember that it is you who decides your future and not some dumb cards. I hope your future will be bright. Oh, thank gosh. I didn't read those cards properly. Oh, it's the ending. I love this music, oh my gosh. So that's the project, everybody. There she is, Kronor. Thank you all so much for watching this project, everybody. This is quite a way to end it. Very peacefully. But you know what? I'm glad that I did this project, you know? Nobody 
very few people know about this game, and that's really what I love about Let's Playing. It's to show everybody these games that I grew up with, I cherish through my childhood. And you know what? I learned a lot from this. And check out that music. Ah, there's the fool. Oh, there's the magician. All these cards coming up. Priestess. Hi, Priestess. The Empress. The Emperor. Oh, man. The... Screw the Emperor, the Hierophant. The lovers, like, the... I've been watching Anju's. Anju Cafe. I love that. I never played Majora's Mask, but that's great. Great story. Anju and Cafe. Oh my gosh. Strength. Ugh, no one cares. These cards are so... It's just like, it takes you through, like, ten parts. This story mode was, like, really long. Ten parts of it, but you guys hung up, stuck it out with me, so I'm really appreciative for all your support that you brought to this project. I'm really excited. Oh man, look at that creepy sun. <laughs> and I was just saying this music was sad, but there we go. Super happy. But that's the end. Thank you, Cronor. And thank you, folks. Yes, you're up to your destiny. You made this possible because I love doing this. The end. Oh man. Oh man, this is, this is beautiful. Look at that. Never seen that screen before this project. Not form- Yes. Why is it not formatted? I did that already. Stupid. Mm-hmm. Okay. So anyways, guys, thank you all so much for hanging out with me. There it is! Our high score! <laughs> we beat it out! Oh, look at that. Boom. Doesn't matter. PB4. Get out of here. But thank you all so much for watching this from Pixel Plume, and I will see you guys next time. I'm pretty sure I'm writing my name, but peace out.